Hey guys, welcome back and Smith from Backbench Coder. So this is the last part before the deployment. In this video, we are going to get all the videos of a particular channel. So if I click on the subscriptions, it is all my subscribed channel and let's click on a channel. Look at this. The URL is channel slash the channel ID and this is my channel screen. So here I need to render all the videos of this channel. So just go back to the documentation. Well, this is a two step process. First of all, you need to get the upload playlist ID of a particular channel. So every channel has a playlist called upload playlist. So you first need to get that playlist ID and then you need to make another request to that particular playlist. And from that playlist, you can get all the videos of that playlist. All playlist, playlist, playlist. Okay, so let me show you. So just go to the channels and click on this list. And here the first use case is list by channel ID. So this endpoint will give me the upload playlist ID of this channel. And then using this ID, mm -mm, here it is. This is my endpoint playlist items and the parameter this one playlist ID string. The playlist ID parameter specifies the unique ID of the playlist for which you want to retrieve the playlist items. Okay, so this is basically a two step process. Let's do one by one. Go back to the accent. And by the way, guys, I have just noticed that I have made a wrong accent name. So just go to the accents videos.accent. Yeah, it should not be get videos by channel, it should be something like get subscribe channel so just rename this fn and f2 on windows get subscribe channel subscribed enter so it will modify all the parts go to a subscription screen look at this this is get subscribe channel automatically modified save this mm -mm 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 -mm. perfect okay close all the unnecessary files go to the videos accent videos dot accent okay just copy an accent creator copy this Oh, put it here cool so this one is get videos by channel get videos by channel id or just channel cool it needs the channel id it needs the dispatch it does not need the get state i don't need to authenticate okay so first of all let's create the accent types okay copy some of the accent types first one is what channel videos request let's copy all of this subscription channel this is channel videos request cool save this go back to the accent creator first of all this is channel videos request replace this one channel auto imported cool okay so first of all i need to get the upload playlist id step one upload get upload playlist id okay the first endpoint is channels the part i can only pass the content details mine nope it's not mine headers I don't need that cool inside this params I need to pass the channel ID so ID as ID I'm getting this ID yep that is cool and when the request is success just log out the data for now we need to see the data comment this dispatch out mm, actually distraction the items from the data items and then log out the items it will be easier for us to investigate the data mm, first of all just dispatch this accent creator Go back to the channel screen. I have not created the channel screen. Nice. Let's, let's create the channel screen. Inside the screens folder, channel screen. Inside the channel screen folder, create the .js file and the .sas file. You know the folder structure. Channel screen .js and the .sas file. Channel screen .sas. Cool. Inside the .js file, let's create the boilerplate. But the name. This is not channel screen. It should be channel screen underscore rfc cause i don't need the react in the latest version i don't need to import the react come on i need the react okay inside this channel screen i need the dispatch i need the use effect so just copy this from the subscription screen okay copy this cool go to the channel screen at the top use dispatch should be auto imported from react redux use effect should be auto imported from react okay i need to dispatch this when the component is mount so just import the accent creator which is get videos by channel nice i need to pass the channel id so i need the use params hook to get the parameters from the url so const destructure the channel id channel id and this is coming from the use params use params hooks is coming from react router dom and by the way guys if you have not watched the last section this channel id is coming through the url let me show you just go to the app.js app.js inside this channel screen 
here is my channel id so i'm just getting that channel id through the parameters just import the channel screen also hey 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 inside layout channel screen auto imported nice save the channel screen cool pass the channel id nice also pass the channel id inside the dependency array channel id i love react man okay channel screen mm -mm. it should work let's see my app is still compiling go back to the youtube using youtube the fake youtube refresh this an error no error surprising go to redux cause i write bugs and then i solve that channel videos request is fired go to the console click on this array mm -mm. click on this content details related playlist yep this one this uploads this is my uploads playlist id so basically i can get this from this array the first item i'll go to the content details and from this content details i'll go to the related playlist like look at the depth of the data and then from this playlist i can access this uploads id so i just need this id to make the second request so just store this id in a variable inside the accents 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 videos accents okay so this is my const upload playlist id const upload playlist id i'll get this from the first item so items zero then content details then the related playlist id then what related playlist no not related playlist id only related playlist with a plural form and then dot uploads okay playlist dot uploads save this nice we got the upload playlist id and then make the second request so again just copy this instance this request instance put this the comment is the second step this one is get the videos using the id cool so just get the data remove these items what is the endpoint this is <coughs> just go back to a documentation this is playlist items just copy this because i'm sure i'm going to make a typo playlist items nice i can pass the content details i can pass the snippet nice and then the playlist id what is the name of the parameter yes playlist id copy this go here i don't need the id instead i need the playlist id cool this is my upload playlist id and max results around 30 cool and if the request is success mm, just uncomment the dispatch oops uncomment bro not remove that just remove this console log okay what is the type of the accent type this is channel video success video success would be auto imported nice the payload is data dot items absolutely fine and if anything goes wrong just log out this error dot response dot data dot message if you want to be more specific and then this is channel videos fail should be auto imported nice not nice not nice nice okay cool so i have my accent creator ready i have also exported that let's create the reducer go to the videos reducer videos dot reducer dot js nice copy a reducer okay cool the name channel videos channel videos reducer at initial state the loading is true videos is an empty array absolutely fine grab the payload grab the type the first case what this is channel videos request should be auto imported copy the previous state the loading is true then the second case is channel video success channel auto imported okay set the payload as the videos the loading is false and then the third one which is channel details fail hey wait 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 what is this channel video success auto imported nice so copy the previous state set the payload as the videos set the loading false nice and then third one this is channel details fail auto imported cool copy the previous state set the loading as false and then the error is the payload absolutely fine i've also exported this copy this one import this in the store store.js so import this from the video reducer channel video reducer import this inside the combine reducer channel video reducer and pass this as channel videos channel videos that is cool at this point i can render my data so just go back to the reducer save the file go to the channel screen 
just go to the app so let's see the app i should see my data refresh this go to redux oh, oh oh hey wait 404 error why uh, click on the response response the playlist identified with this request parameter cannot be found am i getting the playlist id let's see mm, click on this channel what is the response the response is uploads playlist id then what this is the channel id just copy the channel id go to youtube.com channel it should be backbench coder no hey wait it is not backbench coder let's see the code there are some problems in my subscription screen go to a subscription screen dot js okay so inside this i am rendering this video horizontal component right so just go to the video horizontal i am not passing the correct channel id okay see if i have the resource id then i will go for the channel id so inside this resource id go to redux go to state mm -mm. Then subscription channel subscriptions these are all my videos click on this videos click on a video live debugging on guys click on snippet click on this resource id inside the resource id i have the channel id so it should be correct mm, go to the video horizontal component i am getting the resource id it should be from the snippet oh shit 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 resource id now i am getting the resource id and then the channel id and this is why you should use typescript now just refresh this click on backbench coder channel videos request channel videos success click on the state mm -hmm. click on this channel videos channel videos request channel videos success but i still don't have the channel videos Our loading is still true what is going on go to a channel reducer go to a videos reducer inside this videos reducer channel videos request channel with details oh it's not channel details it should be channel videos ah uh -huh channel videos probably have noticed that save this refresh this i look at this it's 440 i'm still debugging okay so this time i have the videos so i have the channel videos videos that's cool so let's now just map over this and render the videos component hmm. go to the channel screen i need the videos component not the video horizontal okay so just get the channel videos const destructure the videos and the loading use use selector should be auto imported from react redux nice get the global state and from that global state just go to the channel videos okay so here i just need to render the channel details and then the channel videos so just put a fragment fragment will be better instead of a div okay so inside this fragment First of all, I render the channel details. Just comment this out. I render this later. Channel details, cool. And then the channel videos. Just put a container. This container is coming from React Bootstrap. Then just check if it is loading or not. The same strategy and the same typo. If it is not loading, it means I have the videos. So just map over these videos with an optional chaining. I don't need that optional chaining, but just for safety. Inside a column so that I can make this responsive. This column is coming from Bootstrap. React bootstrap should be auto imported. Already auto imported. Nope. Control space auto imported. Cool. So the grid up to medium just take three columns and then for the large screen it will take three columns. So it will render four videos in a row. Then I need the video component. So just import the video component. Auto imported. Cool. I need to pass the video. Video as video. And I will also pass another flag which is channel screen because I need to modify that component a little bit. Channel screen. Cool. Save this. And if it is not loading, then what? I need to show some skeletons. So copy this column so that I can make my skeleton responsive. Copy this column. Cool. How many skeleton? Around 15. So just create a dummy array. Dot 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 using the array constructor. Just put the length 15. Just map over this. Cool. Just an arrow function which will return this component, this column. Uh -uh, that is fine. 
I don't need the video here. Instead, I need the skeleton. So just import the dark skeleton. Where can I find this in my subscription screen? Yep, the skeleton theme. Copy this one. Go to the channel screen. Put it here. Import the skeleton theme from skeleton from React loading skeleton, and then this skeleton, the inner skeleton, the main skeleton. Cool. Height around 140 pixel. That is fine. I don't need the count here because I'm mapping over an array. It's better. What about this video? Video is not defined. Now import it. Cool. Now just go to the video component. Let's modify this. First of all, destructure the channel screen. Channel screen. Is channel screen? Check the typo. It is channel screen, right? Yep. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I need to render this inside a row. Come on. Else it will not be responsive. With a class name margin 2. Margin top 2. Cool. And let's just wrap everything with this row. And import this row from the React Bootstrap. Better. Go to video.js. Cool. I have the channel screen. Now, I will not render this channel icon because like these are all the videos of a channel so I don't need to render the channel icon just inside a curly brace just check if it is inside this channel screen if it is inside a channel screen then don't render this so if it is not inside a channel screen I will render this inverse cool save this I think it should be okay uh, cool oh not cool unhandled rejection cannot read property content details of undefined why so basically it is saying that it is not getting the video id oh here i need to modify the video id so you can remember what i told you in the first video and of course at the end of this project you will realize that you have just used the worst possible api available in the internet exactly let me show you so just go inside the content details click on redux this is the worst api i have ever used click on a video item inside this content details you will get the video id but inside this item this id is not the video id this is something else but not the video id but i am getting this id as the video id so i need to modify this i need to get the id from the content details so here just remove this id so this is content details if i have the content details then go for the video id if i have the video id then go for the id and if this is invalid then go for the id and what about this what why this is saying content details is oh i need to distract the content details from the video that is fine my error should be solved come on youtube you can improve your api ah better 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 these are all my videos all the videos of backbench coder anyway click on the subscriptions and uh, let's go for this wrong akram yep now i need to show the details of this video at the top as a header let's see go to the channel screen remove this cool so i need the channel details right so i need to dispatch another action which is get channel details which has which has been already created so dispatch get channel details yep i need to pass the channel id cool now let me just copy this channel header from the off screen cause there's no javascript at all just some dummy html since so this fragment I have this channel details look at this this is a simple div with some bootstrap class name and the channel header the custom class name okay I just need to get the snippet from the redux store I'll be doing that in a minute and then inside a div I have the snippet dot title my channel title and then the number of subscribers inside a numeral form and then the button subscribe and all okay so just import the snippet and the statistics from the redux store so let me just copy this use selector and this will be coming from channel details channel details dot channel cool i need the snippet and the statistics so snippet and the statistics beautiful i also need to import the numeral import numeral from numeral and by the way guys again if anything goes wrong in your code you will find the code in the description box just check that out don't just copy that just check that out what's going wrong in your code just save this and go to the app beautiful i have this channel name i have the number of subscribers the channel icon notice guys i have just changed the channel icon i'm just experimenting this okay and then the subscribe button 
so let's put some external CSS inside the dot sas file I've imported that's right I guess I guess I've imported that dot sas file no import dot slash channel dot sas file cool go to channel skin dot sas let me just copy the style sheet cause it's again boring repetitive dummy easy CSS nice okay close the sidebar first of all just import the base dot sas file cause we are going to use some variables and then inside the channel header just put a border bottom look at this the border color this border color is coming from the base dot sas file okay and then target the left so just hover over this this is channel header underscore underscore left just resize the image to 80 pixel give this a rounded border and then my subscribe button and by the way guys just try to get the subscription status as we have already created the accent creator so it's easy for you to get the subscription status i'm not doing that probably i'll do that in the refactoring part but you can surely do that because right now it is a dummy button which is just showing subscribe and on this context please hit the subscribe button i know you'll not subscribe but please yeah okay and then some media query stuff to make this responsive let's see save this nice i have the subscribe button go for the responsiveness beautiful so that's it for this video in the next video we are going to do the refactoring part and with that we are also going to deploy our project and that's what we want at the end of the project we want to share this project with the world so we will deploy this with the ci cd pipeline using github accents so see you in the next video bye